Hi, welcome to my quick run through of uh, Viva Java, the coffee game, the dice game, uh, solo play, playing against just one AI, uh, the Omniblend Transglobal. We're going to start off at the easy level because I'm not very good at the game. Uh, I'm playing the Samba Mama. Nice blank sheet. I've got the solo coaster set up there, flavoured ice coasters, and there are the two blend coasters. So let's start off with me to start. I take the five dice, give them a roll. All right, I've got two red there, um, and I may as well take that, I think, for a feature, decaf feature blend. Point for me. Ooh, it's very hard to do that with one hand holding the camera near the other. So over to Omniblend, roll their five. They have two red as well, but they have nothing else, and they have no rerolls, so they get nothing up by one on their reroll track. I will degrade my blend. I get two points for that. Back to the Honda blend. Four whites and a reroll. So let's see if they get another white. No, they don't. That beats my decaf quite significantly. Oops. So let's pop all these onto here. On the bend gets a point on my little homemade score pad there. Right, let's see what I can do. Can I beat four in white? Well, I've got two black and two green. And now the green track on here is extra flavour. Um, or I can get two. I think I'll take two flavour dice for next time. There we go. So Omniblend degrades by one. And they get two points for having that to begin the turn. Back to me. My two flavour dice to roll. Roll it all. I have three green, two red, white, and a yellow. So the red is a hack their brew, so that would reduce their reroll token by one if I wanted to use that at some point. But I think the three green is quite a nice one to add on here, so let's just fill in the three green on that track. There we go. And then you return your flavour dice back to the pot. Right, he's going to degrade by one and get two points. So he's already up to five points. I'm on three. Right, let's see if we're doing better now. Well, I have two flavoured dice and then one of each of everything else. As I'm on the one times one track on the extra flavoured dice, I'll do that. I'll get three flavoured dice for those two. So I'll take those for next time. There we go. Right, he will degrade and get two points. Up to seven, and the solar one, the solar coasters, uh, they will not keep a decaf blend. They will actually put the lot out. So he loses that. But again, solo only. He gets reroll all five again. So he doesn't have a. Actually, that should have gone down. Sorry, that should have gone down to zero when he got that blend. Uh, he doesn't have three of a kind, and he has no rerolls now, so he doesn't get anything back up to one what it should have been. Right, I have my three three dice to add to my roll. Eight dice, what can I make with this? Hopefully something useful. Ah, oh, look at that. Four greens. Not bad. One of each of... Uh... So actually, I could take a rainbow or a feature. So I'll take the feature, because I think that's quite a strong feature blend. And that's four greens. So these, these will all go back into the pot up there, and then I turn these to fill in four greens. On the end, so I get a point for doing that. Here we go. Right, and then with a reroll, he's got not enough to beat my four greens, he'll keep the highest pipped. Reroll. Highest pipped, two of a kind, is not enough to beat my four of a kind. So his reroll goes up by one. I will degrade my blend and get two points. There we go. Oh, blend and can he get his rainbow? Well, he has three of a kind and he has two rerolls, but he won't keep that three. He always keeps the highest pipped. I'm sure you could probably change the variant to do that if you wanted to. So he's going to take the highest pipped again. He's got one more reroll. Let's see if he can get. Anymore. No, he doesn't get any more. 
so he has nothing. He goes back up on the research on the uh, reroll track. I will degrade down to a regular blend, and I get two more points. Yeah. He's into three rerolls now. Let's see what he can get. Two browns and two yellows, but one green highest pipped, so he keeps the green. Um, right, he's got some blacks now. He'll keep the blacks. That's the second reroll. That's his last reroll. So three blacks beats my three greens. He takes the feature blend. That goes down by one. It's a point for stealing the blend. So I can roll now. Let's see what I get. Well, I've got two blacks, two yellows, and a red. Um, I think I'll take the yellows on the research track this time. Okay. Yellow is flip bean on the solar coaster, so that'll be quite useful next time. Right, he's degrading his blend. Getting two points. He's up to ten. I'm on eight. So I've got almost one of every colour there. And all my options here. I've got extra flavour. I've got flip bean. So let's see if I can turn this into a rainbow blend. No, that flips to a red, so that doesn't help. The best I can do is two reds. Can I get two whites anywhere? I think white is the opposite of black, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't get two whites for getting a re-roll. Um, so what would be useful to have? Well, I haven't, red is a hacker brew, which is quite useful. Brown is field testing, which would be quite handy as well. Um, and I haven't got the red or brown or whites, so well let's if I take those two browns, that flips to a brown, and I'll take three browns. So we'll put three browns on my track here. Okay, here we go, three browns. Which means I now have field testing. So I'm gonna blend degrades, he keeps his that's now regular still, so he keeps up for two points. He's up to twelve. So a little too well for my liking. I have two browns, I have two whites and a black. I do have a flip. I'm going to flip that to a white. And I'm going to take those whites. It's very hard to do that. I should have drawn this directly on the pad, it would be a lot easier. So I now have a reroll, which is quite nice. Right, now he degrades down to a decaf. It takes two points. It's up to 14 now. But because it's decaf, he won't keep that. That goes back in the pot, and he rolls all five of his dice. Look at that straight away. He's got another, another one. He's got two re rolls as well, but of course, he will only keep the highest pipped. So let's see if he gets anything else. So that's no good. He's going to keep the green. If he gets one green with this re roll, he gets the big feature blend back. What are the chances, eh? Obviously, quite high. There we go. He gets that back and he gets another point for getting that back again, straight away. 15 points he's on. It's very hard to beat him. Oh, he also, I wonder if that should have gone down at some point. I'll keep it there for now, I can't remember. Right, I have a re-roll, so I think I will keep the whites and re-roll that. Oh look, there's another white. Uh, I also have a flip, but that doesn't really help me getting, a, getting that to, to yellow. I'll take the three whites for now, because that gives me two re-rolls next time, at least. He degrades, gets two points, he's on 17 now. I need to get that blend away from him. Let's see what I can do. Three browns, good start. Now do any of these flip to a brown? No, they don't flip to brown. So I've got two re-rolls. That's a one, that doesn't flip to a brown. What was that? That's my second re-roll. Oh, that flips to a brown. Uh, that doesn't need to flip. I, haven't got, I don't have two flips. He only has three of a kind. I have four of a kind. I steal the feature blend from him. Here, one, two, three, four. Lovely. Finally, it's a point. Nine points there. Right, he's got two wheels and he gets to roll everything. But he has to beat four of a kind now. Keeps the highest pit. First re roll. No more green. Second we roll. No more green. Up he goes. I degrade. Get two points. So I'm 
using that player as a pad there to rest on. So he will reroll three times if need be now. Keeps the black. Oops. Back, so that's the first reroll, that's the second reroll. So black. Third so reroll. Nope. Nothing for him. He goes up to four. I degrade down to regular. Two points for me. Oh, I'm going to keep that, I think, for the time being. I'm going to hope that he's not going to get any, anything better, which he probably will know me. So, keep the black. He's got four year rolls now. So that's one year old, two year rolls, three year rolls. Just need some more black to steal it from me. Unbelievable. Right, here we are. He's stolen it back. So he gets another point, he's on to 18. Dangerous territory. I get to roll though. That's one of each, I get to get the rainbow. He gets me a point. I'm on 14 to his 18. He degrades. Oh, sorry, that should have gone down when he took it. He gets two points, he's on 20. So now, he's only one point away from winning. I need to get that blend away from him on this roll. Otherwise I'm in trouble. I get a point for having Rainbow Blend at the start of my turn. I'm on 15. I have two re-rolls. So I've got those two yellows, two re-rolls, and these flip to a yellow. There, so that's my flip done. I've got two re-rolls. That's one re-roll, two re-rolls. Four of a kind, very nice. It beats us three of a kind. I managed it. So I'll replace the Rainbow Blend. He, of course, if he got the Rainbow Blend and the Feature Blend, he would be able to keep both of them being indeciduous. So I get a point for getting that blend. Um, he's not too pleased about this. He needs four yellow or better to beat me. So I'll keep the black. He's got three rerolls. That's the first reroll. Nope. Second reroll. Nope. Third reroll. Well, he has three black. That doesn't beat my four yellow. He's one point away. Back to me. Degrade. Two points. Of course, he just needs to get... He still needs to get four of kind, actually. Above yellow to beat me. But he only needs one. If he steals, then he wins straight away. So he'll keep green. He's on four we roll still. That green, second re-roll, keeps that green, third re-roll, fourth re-roll. Oh, he rolled a uh, black there, didn't he? He will now take the black in favour of the greens. It's a foolish man. Foolish company. Mm, nope, nothing for him. He's got two uh, browns there, so it doesn't get him the rainbow. Back to me, degrade. Two points. Now look at that. I am one point off. If I get that till the next turn, I would win. But if he steals it on his next turn, he's got four rerolls, he will win. If I can get just two more whites, I will complete that research track and get three points and win. Now, what's the chances of me getting three whites? Should we have a go? Let's do it. I'll give up that feature blend. I will roll these three, which are the only ones you're allowed to reroll. I'm going for three whites. I have two re-rolls. Well, there's one. Now those flip to a white. Oh, that's close, look, because I can use the flip to do that. I have my last re-roll. Actually, two is all I needed. One, two. What's about with one hand? Sorry about that, zoom in. I get three points for completing the track. I win. Ha! Take that Omniblend Transglobal. Your cheap labour and cheap coffee. That's where it gets you. So that was my run through of Fever Java the Coffee Game the Dice Game by TC Petty the Third. Published by Dice Hate Me Games. I hope you enjoyed it.